ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Love it already. You have, to your, you have to do your hex impression, though. I don't know if I have a hex impression. You can try. <laughs> I don't even want to butcher this. I don't want. I don't even want. Don't this embarrass yourself. I was ready start. for it. I was ready for it. I literally was about to start, and I was like, "Nah." <laughs> You'll get roasted. Um, we're here for episode forty-nine of the podcast, and what you're thinking? I'm in the comments right now. Who is this fat idiot replacing Hector? I need my favorite hexagon back here on the stage. Hexican. Who's going to have the time lapse for his vlog? <laughs> Calm down, everyone. This is just a replacement for this episode. Oh. Uh, we, 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 Hector's coming back. Uh, uh, unfortunately, with the scheduling this week, I go to uh, event this weekend for Fortnite. Ninja's yep. crazy little thing. And then uh, Hector's had meetings, so we just had to pick a day, and it just wound up being this. So don't worry. Don't leave dislikes. But we're here with uh, Sprat and Hitch. Yep. Sprat has returned from the motherland. Yep. Hitch has been grinding away. Yeah. Grinding away. Still awake. Still awake. <laughs> Which I don't know how you'd even do Eyes that. are a bit... They're gone. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't planning last week because this is the second week in a row I've done this, and I didn't mean to last, or I did mean to last week, and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna stay up and do some videos, and then you know, and then this week, I didn't mean to. It just kind of happened. We have a we have a few people traveling, so it's like we we had, we literally it was like a last second, like okay, we've yeah. got to take a loss on some part. Yeah, exactly. And it just wound up being Monday, Tuesday, but either way, we are here. And uh, first off. Sprat, welcome back. Thank you. I know. Uh, I know. When you last left, you were kind of like, "I'll be back at some point." <laughs> yeah, I'll be. I'll be. I'll be back. Well, I went to CW Birmingham. That is true. Yeah, so I was back for that. See family and friends, but that event was way better than I thought. That was my first UK event. Like I've always traveled to America. Anaheim was my first, so everything after that is just like, well, I've it's done all right. Gfinities. You've done. Gfinities. Is that the London? Yeah, Gfinities. I've never London. done a Gfinity. Oh, you've never done a Gfinity? Just ESWC. WC. So we've, we've actually done, and I've never done an, an Insomnia. I don't know if you have. I don't think so. But no. yeah, so so I've never done, gone to an Insomnia event, which is what that was. Yeah. I've yeah. done a bunch of Gfinities. I've only done You've ESWC. only done ESWCs. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. It's funny how they each have their own little individual identity. Yeah. But the cool thing about the Insomnia event, from what I saw, was one, the crowd looked incredible. Oh, yeah. And, and and two, I saw you were like streaming from the scuff booth, yeah, as well, which is kind of a cool little thing. Yeah, I do that every every event now. I just get on there a couple of hours. The only the only downside is every time I travel, my voice dies. I just lose it, right. and I've been, it's been happening for like four months. So every time I travel, after a couple of days, my voice is gone. So every time I travel to an event, I feel bad for scuff because Friday I'm like, all right, let's stream, let's do it, and I stream for a few hours, and then by the end I'm like croaky. That's and then crazy. the Saturday, okay. <laughs> it's just going to be me getting mucked this whole episode. <laughs> no, 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 you're fine, you're fine. It's his first podcast. Uh, so then the Saturday comes and I'm like, yeah, let, let's do it. I mean, I'm not going to be my best, but and then Sunday I'm like, I can't. Like, And I'm meeting people. I can't have conversations. So it just happens every time. Uh, See, I'm, I'm blessed that I've never had that issue in regards to even after ca I could cast eight out of ten days and still have my voice. Yeah. But I know other people, I mean, I don't know about you, Davis, but. For him, no. it seems like he's got a weaker bulk cord. Because you even said, you yeah. tweeted out that like your doctor said you need oh, to find yeah. a different way to record videos. Yeah, because like, that's I, crazy. I know it's ridiculous. Because that she was like, "What do you do as a as a job?" And I said, "Well, I'm just like recording live gameplays over and over again, that's hours it. a day, you know." And it's just like, "Well," she said. She literally said, "Is there any way you can do your job without your voice?" And I was like, "Not really. Yeah. Like, I'm not going back to 2010 and doing day charges and montages all day. Like, I want to." get live gameplays and yeah. she said if it's bad you know it's it's good now which is great um she said if it ever gets weak again yeah. you, you've got to stop you can't talk so i'm a little worried it's not the news i wanted <laughs> yeah <What? laughs> i literally was, so, I, I, she was just like you can't put stress on it because that's what she because there was nothing there there was like a little bit of like viral infection or something but she said that's just natural like what you've done is you've hurt your vocal cords because you've just been traveling and using it so much you haven't rested it and but you're not even the loudest guy. I know. I don't rage. I don't scream. I just. I've never I put, heard you. Yeah, I don't talk I just, above like this, this octave. This yeah, this is right there. so. But it, she said I just must not either use it right because T mine has the same problem. Because I tweet about it, he's like, yeah, I had like nodules on my vocal cord, and yeah. I have to get speech therapy. And well, that makes more sense because even in T Martin's videos, you can just tell he's projecting. Like, oh he's yeah, just being extra. Yeah, but you. This is how you do live commentaries. <laughs> 
Hey guys, this is Brad here. This is Brad. <laughs> hey, I, I'm not as bad as I used to be. I used to be monotone and oh, yeah. sat and just <laughs> sat played away. <laughs> you know, like, hey guys, it's Brad. <laughs> yeah, imagine, look at those guys. T- look at Tom and Martin kill you. Like, Jack, like Jack Septic guy starting out his videos yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like, how how the it, it's I guess it's all just goes by for people. I mean, you tune into Davis's like streamer his videos and he's just like chill and chill. But then out of nowhere, like something will happen and. and Davis goes from here to like, oh, way up, way up, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think, I think that's like, I've always done that though in like life. I'm just, I'll, cause I was just thinking about that. Like, there's two sides of me where one of them's like way over the top extra, and then yeah. one of them's kind of like how I am right now. It's partly because I'm. How long you been to, awake? I'm trying to stay <laughs> alive. I'm trying to stay, yeah, like focused. <laughs> um, but yeah, in my streams, like I'll I'll just be chilling and just ch- chatting, and then I'll do something in game, or I'll get turned on, or I'll, I'll, something will happen, and I'll just ah! and just like start freaking out, and then and then turn on like a rap song and start dancing out of nowhere, and then I'll just sit back down and like, so how are you guys? I feel like yeah. I just watched a whole hit stream, but that, yeah, that yeah. <laughs> I saw you're it. a little different because you are always energetic. That's just so I guess is actually something that I'd like to talk to you guys about too with this because we obviously have different styles of how we do our videos and content yeah. creation. When I started casting, Puckett told me one thing that resonated with me forever, and that was, Jack, if you're going to use humor, and when I first started casting, I was way too much cracking terrible jokes and Did stuff. You, hold on. Did you try out for the cut? I, I was not in the cast-off. You are never? I was not in the cast-off. So okay. the reason why people remember me as being part of the cast-off was, one, I, I did one event before the cast-off was a thing, or one or two events, okay. and then... My the cast off contestants, the event that they all came to and casted, which was the NA Regionals and AW, they all casted on Bravo with me. I was their mentor. <laughs> I had done two casting events, so I was like, "This here goes nothing." I'm t- trying to teach these guys. I have no yeah. idea what I'm doing myself. Yeah. I just remember watching the tryouts when, whenever, like, was it Benson and Puckett? They were like Benson, Puckett, and Matt would roast okay. ro- ro- people in the old MLG studio. Yeah. So, and I remember there was one guy who made like. 47 jokes in his in his thing and then uh Puckett was like that's too many jokes man it's too many jokes yep. and then i heard you say that like three years later you're like i used to make way too many jokes and i was like wait it was one thing that i had to accept like if i wanted to keep humor which i did i still try to be more of a personality yeah, yeah. while casting because i believe that cod should be more like wwe instead of golf you know in regards to how it is yeah but I, Puckett told me 50% of people are going to love you for your jokes. 50% of people are going to hate you for your jokes. Simple yep. as that. And obviously I did dial it down and I did see more positive. But that's always part of my thing. And, and I think this goes back to what you're yeah. saying. Like 50% of people will love me for always being high energy. But then now that I've kind of seen more exposure with my Twitch stuff, I still see comments of like, how can people watch this guy? He's, yeah. yeah. And but that's how, I mean. Yeah, some people just don't like it when it's too, yeah. too much. That's but. why people wonder. Well, think of Lyric. <coughs> Lyric's one of the faces of Twitch. He doesn't have a webcam. I don't think I've ever even heard Lyric yell. He's That's... like, yeah, guys. Oh, that was a good two-piece. You know, Shroud. Shroud is a streamer. Yeah. Obviously, he's got his insane skill, but Shroud isn't over the top. People still find no, him wildly yeah. entertaining. And but then it's... you have Dr. Disrespect, who is legitimately not a person. He's, just <laughs> a, he's a character. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think that's what I think everybody has there. What do you what do you gravitate towards like what kind of style and then you can even say some names like whenever you watch streams whenever you just casually I know you have it in a while but. so when I used to watch a ton of streams one of my favorite things in gaming was when I used to play World of Warcraft and I would just sit there if you play WoW it's a game that you can easily watch a stream while playing which right. was the, one of the best parts yeah I still like think back to when I was I would just wake up throw on World of Warcraft be playing it doing my dailies I'd have a Towly stream which was he plays World of Warcraft too. Or a Hearthstone stream like a Maz, and I would just chill, have some soup. That was my habit. <laughs> some soup. Is it bad I've never played that game? Warcraft. Oh, I've never played it. Either. Okay, every, good. Every, I'll say this: every every gamer, every person that considers themselves a gamer, I feel like needs to experience World of Warcraft yeah. once. Yeah. I feel like I I I would never say anything bad about the game. Like, there's a lot of people who say, like, I don't know how you can play that nerdy stuff because I know it. It would take me what three hours before my life would be ruined. <laughs> Oh, you, like especially if, with I, how you are, you would be oh, done. Yeah. You would be done. I'm, I'm, te- I'm terrible. I've always been that way too. Like if I like anything, I, I drive it into the floor yep. until until you hate it. Until I hate yeah. it. Yeah. I only do that yeah. with songs. With games, I just same. Yeah. I do that with songs. Well, yeah. Song. I'll get a song that I love. I'll keep playing it and playing it. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> well, I, I think that, that, that's kind of the the next thing I want to bring up because. Coming into this, we're now one month out from Black Ops 4, which we'll talk in regards to the reveal, which I know we're going to be trying to do a lot around and uh, and leading up to that. But 
for you, you're still one of the people grinding COD War II out there for your videos every day. Other COD sniper YouTubers or COD YouTubers in general have joined the Fortnite train, gone back to multi-COD. Yeah. But you've kind of stuck with just Call of Duty War II. Yeah. How's that? How's that been for you uh, across everything? I mean, it's it's up and down, honestly. The way I thought of it, because um, obviously when Fortnite came out, it just brought... It, people say it like COD lost views, but I think it was just more of the fact that everybody was posting Fortnite, so it just got filtered down. So yeah. there was no yeah. Call of Duty gameplay there. But for me, I actually saw a time like a raise in views because I in my head, I was like, all right, if everyone... All these COD YouTubers are going to Fortnite. Yeah. That means there's less people... Yeah making card content, which means more people want to watch my stuff. So I took it as like a positive, you know, I played Fortnite like two or three times and I was like, this is probably going to be fun and I'd probably be good at it if I put the time in, but there's no way I want to put the time in to get good. And I'm sure you can all agree, like yeah. building and everything, like oh, that's just, forever, yeah. yeah, it takes a lot of time. Yeah. So um, I still love the game and I think the new update that came out just blessed it. So uh, Davis said the same thing for yeah. us recording. It's crazy because um, when, whenever I just started this new grind or whatever, um, it, I didn't know what to do because I'd always just been an IRL. Like every once in a while, I might put up a gameplay video, but you know, since like the the vlogs like just aren't even aren't really working out how we thought they were here, yeah. I was like, I'm just gonna start posting like every day, regardless of what it is. I'm just gonna post, um, and then you know, if it is gameplay, I'm gonna try to post multiple times. So then I re-downloaded, not even re-downloaded, but I updated World War II because I hadn't touched it in four months. So. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the first video I made, like, got more views than a lot of my vlogs have been getting. And it's just, the more I think about it, and, and I've, I've actually been, uh, ever since the whole Modern Warfare 2 remastered, like, leak or whatever, ever since all of that, I've kind of been watching Call of Duty uh, YouTubers a lot more. And the ones that, like you said, like, everybody left, so there's these new YouTubers that are oh, yeah. like, rising up. So and, many. Yeah, there's a lot that people, people have, like, never heard of. Yeah. This is, I watch this dude, uh, Neuro Cinema, Neuro Cinema, I don't know. And I, I watch his videos like every day. Yeah. And it's it's weird because I feel like he, he, no webcam, nothing. He just posts and then just talks over yeah. it and like gives like COD updates and stuff. And I'm just like, I feel like I'm in, back in high school watching COD videos again. But it's like actually pretty fun. Yeah. So I, I think there's that, like you said, there's people out there that aren't interested in Fortnite that just want COD content. Exactly, yeah. And I just thought I'll be I'll be one to provide that. Obviously, it's just sniping, and the only downside to this game with sniping is that everybody hates snipers now. I've just noticed, like with Reddit, with just in general, yeah. in in game, like game chat. If you're good with a sniper, you're either hacking, you know, you got <laughs> aimbot, you're you're abusing a, a mechanic that shouldn't be in the game, and. Yes. I'm, and I'm just thinking, <laughs> it's been in every card. What, yes. what is happening? Yeah. Like, has, has the whole hating on like campers and noob tubers now just shifted to? I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Because, well, I mean, they they kind of set it up for that because I'm sure you all know, like at the start of the game, the car scoping speed <laughs> was, was insanity. Brutal. You could yeah. use it like an AR almost. Yeah, you it was literally. literally yeah. with it. So I think everyone just got that in their heads that that's yeah. what it's always like. So even after the three patches and all the nerfs and everything, they're just like. It's broken. It's, you know, get it out of the game. It shouldn't be in the game. And I'm just like, well, if they didn't want it in the game fully, they just take it out. The Black Ops One tried it. It didn't work, yeah. so they changed it. And on this game, they added in 10 second. What do they call it? Sharpshooter. Yeah, the sharpshooter. Hold like, your breath, breath, and it's like to counter quick scope. And I'm like, you're just not gonna. You have to take it out completely. Yeah. You're never gonna do that. But it's. I mean, it still gets a lot of love. There's still people out there find it enjoyable to watch, and uh, I I still have a blast. You know, you raided me last night and all the, all the viewers in there and i was just playing out my mind and i thought this is like the perfect time to do that and yeah, i i knew you were streaming before i went live yeah so i was like wow sprat's still grinding like I, i'm so excited that you're obviously back now yeah. it's, it's, it's fun to have you and uh i was like I, I always look for whoever's streaming you know from optic and i just saw you online i was like Let's send him some love. You were literally like, well, I guess I'm not going to eat now. I was like, like, oh, I my did, man. that literally <laughs> happened to me last night so the reason I don't know where this is going live. So the re the reason that I'm like I've been up all night or whatever is because uh, I started streaming really late. Um, Blake and George were like, "You want to get on?" And I was like, "Yeah." So we got on, played some Fortnite for like four hours, and then I was like, "All right, guys, I'm gonna get off." And then it said, "Karma has rated you for two thousand viewers." <laughs> and I was like, "Well, I'm just gonna stay <laughs> here." And then I, I played like a game of Fortnite, and then I was like, "Do you guys want me to play like COD?" Because what was what was Damon playing? And they said COD. So I was like, "All right." And they all said, "Yeah, yeah, play COD." 
because they watch Fortnite every single day from anybody that is yeah. on YouTube. So I just pulled out, uh, you know, World War II for the first time in forever and, and played some ranked. And then I ended up like really enjoying it. Like yeah. the, the, uh, the update is, it's good, man. I, yeah, I no, like it. I enjoy definitely. It. Yeah. So uh, it seems like for me, a lot, I've seen a lot of positive stuff, but one community that I have no understanding or real following in and, or, I guess follow, in regards, to, I don't really follow many people in it other than you, yeah. Pam. I guess you could yeah. say, is the sniper sniper community. Like yeah. right now, for you, it, would you say the sniper community is in a rough spot? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, we're all. I think we're all praying for a new sniper. I think it's the only. There, there still hasn't been a new one. No, right. So, and there's, so there's been a new AR. Two subs. New subs. I think. I think two ARs and two subs, and I mean at least multiple guns yeah. all across the board. They haven't given us, an, give us a, a sniper, which usually brings a lot more hype. And the reason sniping carries through the year is because of that new stuff. Uh, hey, hasn't there been a hype drop for a sniper in Black Ops Three before a new? Yeah, gun they brought the the XPL That's back from right. the, <laughs> from that that And I, like, I told myself, so I was excited. like. I'm not going back to the old cards, you know, I'd, I'd done everything I wanted on Black Ops 3. That was like one of my best years for yeah. YouTube. And I was like, I'm good. I've done everything. I've created everything I wanted to. And then they were like, yeah, you, you sniper coming. And I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> like, so I ended up trying to get it, didn't get it. Because it's all supply drop look, which is always yep. the downside to that. So, and then Pomage got it. And I was like, Pomage, let me get in your account. Like, I, saw me, that. Yeah, I, I saw that. Like, I saw that. So I literally stole this PlayStation from upstairs, brought it down, played in it. And it was a lot of fun, but at the same time, it's like that I still didn't want to get on and continue to grind that. So yeah. a lot of a lot of snipers have have gone back to that game. Uh, they've gone back to multi cards and stuff like that. And I and I, in my mind, I'm just like I've done everything I want to do. Yeah. Um, so I'm sticking with that. There's still a lot of people grinding it, but just not. There's no scene there now. I think that's grinding and wanting to to bring out the best content because they're not bringing out new content. So I think with all these updates and the new maps and if they bring out a new sniper, we'll be in a good spot. Yeah. Uh, especially with the Black Ops Four hype coming. So we're just, I think we'll, we'll get there. We'll write it out. But with all the, the negative vibes with how snipers are in this game, with it's broken and cheating, and it's just definitely hard to like counter that and, and keep doing your thing. But I still gr I grind, you know. I, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I feel, I feel that at times. Like if I'm playing a card pod and there's <coughs> someone that is just wicked just, yeah, good with the sniper, shitting, yeah. even when you see them and they just can do that, I'm like, I hate this person. Yeah. I, I hate all of them. I hate yeah. their whole family, not just them. The fact that they raise them to be this good and then be like this, I hate them all. Yeah. Um, but I totally get that. And I think that's that's the funny thing is Call of Duty has this, we all know the yearly cycle, the memes with it. Yeah. We're reaching that point of the yearly cycle where IW really wasn't that bad. <laughs> IW yeah, really yeah. wasn't that bad in, in, in this. And, then, yeah. and, you know, and, and now we, we, we come to that point where we know Call of Duty's a little bit earlier this year by a few weeks, you know, in regards to release. So, yeah. one, that's exciting. But two, May 12th is only a few weeks away now. Yeah. We know Black Ops 4 is going to be revealed. We know what Black Ops as a series has been. I think now, for me, and obviously you might feel different, but I think Black Ops as a whole is the biggest and best Call of Duty series now of all time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I believe with, with the... General success, if you look at the general success of it all, yes, MW1 was great. Uh, MW2 was obviously huge in the peak. I, you, I think you could put Black Ops 2 just a little bit below that, but still really high up there. Yeah. But then I think Black Ops 3 was far and away bigger and better than MW3. Now, I oh, know Black Ops sure. 3, in my opinion, but even oh, just viewership, sure. and every, uh, obviously viewership was way different. Yeah. But Black Ops is now their longest tenure still going on series. Yeah. You know... Vaughn and them have done incredible things in the past. Oh. I think everyone knows that something big is on the horizon. But <sighs> I get nervous. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I, I honestly, I don't get nervous because the way I look at it, and the, with Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, or with Treyarch games in general, they do a good job in every area. And I think Black Ops 2 did it best at, at, the, at first. It was good for competitive. It was good for sniping. It was good yeah, for pub for stomping. They had theater mode. It was good for zombies. If you knifed, if whatever you did, I mean, it Treyarch was good. Treyarch is the only theater. Yeah. Which I think is another reason why it pushes content creation further, right? Yeah. But go ahead. But um, that game had it all. And that's why that popped on YouTube for, I think, the first card that actually blew up and people were just branching out in different areas. Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, yeah. Uh, because it had 
everything for every player. Yeah. Whatever you wanted to do, there was something there for you. And then Black Ops 3 did it even better. And I think it's... I'm not nervous because I know whatever it is, whether it's boots on the ground or jetpacks or a mixture or whatever it's going to be, I know that every area, whatever you enjoy in COD, they're going to do it. They're going to do a good job. So yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm excited. I just, I just, in the core of my being, all I can think, or I just have this gut feeling that it's going to be jetpacks. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel that way because I don't, I don't know. I just, I just think that Black Ops 3 did so good and I don't know. I don't know why I think that. I just I just think that Black Ops Four is going to be jetpacks, which is obviously I'm I'm excited for Black Ops Four. And if I keep up this like I guess gameplay grind that I'm doing, I'm gonna play the hell out of it. Um, but I just I'm, I I will always be a booze on the ground kid. Yeah. I oh, I, I totally get that. I think yeah. what's a really good thing though, and what's got to at least be at least a good like peace of mind thing, especially for someone who grinds gameplays or someone who who obviously has that sniper presence, is like. Call, Treyarch always does, I think, the best job of keeping people wanting to return and yeah. keep playing and push for incentives, whether it's sure. uh, Dark Matter camo, people grinding out those challenges, like the amount of updates that came out. Like, it's still recent in COD's history where new weapons were added to the game. Yeah. Like, you got to yeah. remember. Peacekeeper, first I mean, one. M yeah. M and what game was that again? Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, yeah. Yep. And that was like. I remember the Peacekeeper came out and I was like, what? Groundbreaking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now every game is just like. Two days in, they're like, yeah. I've played with everyone. Imagine, <laughs> imagine MW two. Like, think of MW two with Dude, like don't two that. months in, you're don't just dropping a new weapon. Say. Like, what? Because that could still happen. If Modern Warfare two remastered comes out and it has the same exact like multiplayer, they have to. They, they, they're, they're. It's not when. It's if. It, it's not if. It's, it's when. It's when. Yeah. And I, I don't mind that, but I know other people do. Yeah. Like, if you want the perfect MW two experience, if MW two remastered comes out. Dude, it'll never be the original though. That's what. That's why I didn't. That's, that's my thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I I agree with that. I don't think it'll ever beat the original, but my life is over. <laughs> yeah. But I, out, but like, don't you think if it is like the the thing with MWR, I, I thought that I've had so many good memories on COD Four. That was like one of the first games I like grinded. That game just didn't feel the same, and I think it like ruined a little bit of nostalgia. For what I felt about that game. This is what I, I want to bring this up for the viewers at home too. I want you all right now in the comments, and you guys will say it too. When you think of the game that MW2, Black Ops 2, whatever it was that made you love COD, not only think of the gameplay, great, yes, there were so many things I loved, but also hated about MW2 and Black Ops 2 yeah. that I sometimes forget. Think of the time you're at in your life. Mm. For, so yeah. for example, I'll start. The reason I look back, I think, so fondly on MW2 as a game Yes, it was great, and it was one of the best shooters of all time on console for just genuine fun. But I was in high school, no responsibilities, a flourishing friend group of my best friends, like yeah. Blake and Georgia. I mean, you 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 obviously built yeah. your friend group around that. We built it around that. We would have lands where we everyone would bring their consoles to my house. We played for two days straight. Like they'd sleep over. My mom would make us food. They'd go home, shower, come back. We do it again. We played games on games, GBs on GBs, top one hundred the ladder. I had no responsibilities in life, no worries in the world. Mm. Yeah. No matter what, even if that came back now, like the same hype for the game, I know it wouldn't be the same for me yeah. because I look back with rose-colored gl glasses on yeah. that part of my life as well. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a little bit... I mean, I agree with what you're saying 100,000%. That's how it is for every single other person besides myself because I, I feel like um, this is kind of like... It would be like a, a new... There's... I'm probably one of the only people uh, in this scene where it's just like a, a cloud of Modern Warfare 2 like surrounds me. Like people, people think, I don't know how else to say that. Maybe, maybe Pomage as well. It's well, kind you of do like such a good that. job. You also do such a good job of showing your passion for it. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you it's a part, it, it's I joke, but it's a part of your brand. Like it's why I pick yeah, up exactly. Impulse Grenades in Fortnite. It's, it's, I literally say it's part of my brand. It's yeah. to make those plays. <laughs> part of your, a big part of your brand is Modern Warfare 2. I, I literally uploaded two Modern Warfare 2 videos last week and they both popped yeah. talking, mm -hmm. talking about like Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. And um, so that's why, that's why I <clears throat> would play the hell out of it because I feel like there would be, people would be like, holy shit, Modern Warfare 2 is coming out. It's just probably going to go crazy. Yeah. And then they like tune in to see how like it gets me excited out. for it. Obviously yeah. it gets you, like you're, you're obviously in, in the same boat, but like for someone like you, right? Like moving out, like what, what does Sprat want from Black Ops 4? What does Sprat, what does Sprat 
want and speak, think that think the sniper community needs. Yeah, for Black Ops. speak for yourself, and then also speak for the sniper community. I mean, it's it's hard because like the sniping scene now is it's evolved. Like, yeah. if you take a few years back, it was just montages, yeah, like um, faceless snipers. Yeah, nobody you, knew what they looked oh, like. Yeah. Or sounded you just like. you just, just montages gameplay. with great songs and first time Kitty made a. I saw Kitty's introduction on Phase. Right. Yeah. I saw his introduction on Phase in Modern Warfare Three, and I was like, damn. Faze recruited a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I still think to this day. To this day. To this still day. Think he's yeah. <laughs> but it's just stuff like that, you know. You, you don't know who the person was. You don't know what they were like. They just were really good at hitting sniping clips. Yeah. But now, like, I I slowly branched away from that uh, around Black Ops Two, and then with Black Ops Three, it was just I liked making montages. But my main goal every day was to make the best, most entertaining yeah. live gameplay I could do. You know, I'd spend hours and hours and hours to make sure it was the best. Even if I repeated myself yeah. the same thing, yeah, you know, and I just, times. yeah, and I took a lot of inspiration from, you know, people who didn't do sniping and stuff because nobody was doing that. Yeah. Speaking the whole way through a game, like it was just unheard of. Um, it's almost like taking what Seth, but yeah, Seth, my, here. Seth yeah. and him and being like, obviously he's seen success. Like, how can I adapt that? Yeah, it, they were. Thing, when do. people ask me like, who who's your influences? I don't really have too many. Uh, in terms of Pomage like how to create like content. Everything. Without Pomage, you would have been. Is what you're saying. I think it's the other way around. Because yeah. I actually, <laughs> funny story, like I had a clan like with my friends years ago before like FaZe and everything. <laughs> and he, to this day, holds it against me because I never let him in the team. And it wasn't me. It was like the oh, like it. the guys who, who owned it. He's like, you remember that time you didn't let me in your team? I was like, well, you weren't good enough. So like, what do you, <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from it? throws a little bit of shade uh, So, I mean... Oh. Over the over time, like even big time as well. I, I when I started watching him, I was like, he is always talking. He's always like bringing he's conversation. The, he's the best. He's so good at that. And I thought it's annoying. nobody does. Uh, yeah, nobody does that in sniping. It's yeah. so so. I was like adapted to that. So for me now, like my eyes for sniping isn't. Oh, I wonder if this will be good for montages. I'll I'll be like, I want to get the best gameplay. So I want like uh, V two like nukes i want v2s nuclears i want yeah. just cool things to end the game i want like great maps for for streaks and gameplays i want a great theater mode so i can break down plays haven't had that in a while just stuff like that you did, know did like, black ops 3 specialists add to the sniping like like oh mid midway through glitch yeah like, oh i shit. i actually did um it was one of the most the things i'm most proud of in that game is like i think it was the second year so obviously i was trying to think of new things to do yeah. I hit like a clat single and then I used glitch uh, on hunted. You know, you can jump up on hunted yeah. to go to the to the top part. I used glitch. I came back flying through the air, ran around the corner, hit the clat for the for the five on. And that was like, what did I just do? You know, <laughs> like what, what just happened there? So even like active camo, I mean I know Heatwave got so like some bad rep because yeah. it's kind of newbie or whatever, but those definitely added. I mean, I wouldn't be against that, but at the same time, it definitely I think for competitive it added too many. I didn't know it wasn't Yeah. I, I enjoyed the, the aspect of it, but it became super... But that being said, I think it made sense. Like, I, I think I would play the hell out of a jetpack game if there was no wall running. Definitely no slow wall running. That's mm -hmm. what... That's what that, that was a broken mechanic, in my opinion. Yeah. Which was yeah. the fact that you could manipulate the wall, pull back a little bit on your stick, yeah. and you would regain all your boost. That's how... That's how so many of those broken spots were found. That's how Teddy Rex did Ted Wood, you know, yeah. like, like he literally Is that got where the, the Yeah, the back of the base. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wall run off, like go out to the side and then come back on. Like but unreal. Yeah. yeah. I would absurd. watch him play and I'd be like, what are you doing? He would climb the tree. Like that's the only reason why you were able to climb trees. <laughs> because you, you he'd get up on the tree, do it twice, and then be, literally fly up. And look over think of that. You've played COD your whole life, you know I just need to look at this yeah. plane. Now you've got Teddy Rex like this. <laughs> you're like this. You're like, you're like oh, is... God. I didn't go to my chiropractor. Yeah, yeah. like, dude. It's rough. So, yeah, that, that that was like, it added good and bad things. Like the one yeah. thing that they figured out and made better for IW, for example, with the specialists and combat rigs was you didn't just naturally get it. Mm. Like the issue was in Black Ops 3, it was a strategy where if you were in a 4v1 on an S&D round, you wanted the round to go on longer because mm. your bar would slowly fill. Yeah. It's like, that was obviously like a little corny, and they I think they patched it a little bit like halfway through, but yeah. it was like a corny thing to have at the start of the game. It's yeah. like you're just gaining that. It's like yeah. getting away from earning them just naturally. Like you need to get them only from score. Yeah. I think it would make it better. You can't get three camos in a game or, or well, yeah. two was really what would happen. Um, 
I don't know. What do you, I mean? What do you think personally, having casted both gay, three of all all of them? Yeah. Um, like comparing World War Two and and try your best to get like art and CTF and like all these weird yeah, ass yeah. maps. Try to get, get that out. What I mean, what would you rather have, and what do you think it brings to COD? I think. I want to watch something where it's like, wow, this person is that good that he's able to do stuff like that, right? Yeah. I think, I'm just going to say what I've always said yeah. with Maven. I believe that jetpack cods take more skill yeah. by far. Agree. I can agree with that. Because you need to be able to aim faster. You need to be able to react quicker because mm. people are moving faster. Yeah. So in, in regards to raw skill, and maybe that makes it, maybe you have to think less because like you can get away with more by just snapping. Like, for yeah. example... Is that why you know optic? Yeah, optic saw some success in it. These other, these other, these other, some of these just raw aiming people saw success. You know, yeah. um, like what was that envy team? Slasher, John, App, and Cap. Right? Yeah. Was it? They won champs. Yeah. Cap obviously wasn't the best aimer, but he was one of the smartest players. Right. The other three were three of the best just <laughs> core aiming people. The other three were sir. I mean, yeah, yeah I no. could probably outshoot J Cap, <laughs> <laughs> but like that's just how it was. Like they yeah. were just that good. So. I, I like the flashy stuff, dude. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. I love glitch. Glitch was part of my glitch, brand. Yeah, yeah, if, exactly. if you played wagers with me, if you were one of the, I played wagers with all pros. Pros would go, yeah. Oh yeah, Jack. Jack gets glitch. That was the thing. <laughs> it's yeah. not even me being ego. That's just a thing. Like, yeah, people yeah, knew yeah, I yeah. glitch. Um, and then Nagafin gets gravity spikes. Gravity like spikes. that was just a part of his brand. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Karma had heat wave. Like, and and obviously yes, that was a strat. Like that was a strategic decision. But like, Karma had heat wave. Always. It didn't oh, matter what the yeah. hell was going on or who he was playing with. It was Karma's thing because he was so good with it. I could think of 10 crazy oh, plays dude. with Heatwave and Black Ops 3. Like, I, I love those flashy plays. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know they swung things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love that if you could only get it once per game, I like the idea too of everyone starts with their payload or specialist, but Make you can only use it once, once a game. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine Karma's saving Mad Heatwave for 9 minutes and 30 seconds at a CTF, and there's one moment where he's the hero and you're like, could this be it? Could this be it? Strategically, the team's going, Karma still has Heat Wave. He hasn't used it yet. He hasn't used it yet. Like, you're having to think about yeah. that, communicate that. that. I like that, yeah. And then Karma slides in. Remember when he wall ran on, on Breach? Hit the wall run. The guy's running the flag over. He Heat Waves two pieces and grabs the flag, returns it. Probably get chills thinking of it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I liked that. I liked the flashy yeah. part. I liked the guys hitting these crazy shots. They would wall run with the M8, fly off, and one burst someone. With precision accuracy, I could never do that in my life, picking yeah. someone off the head. And then continue moving. Yeah. Like, it's and just... it also it added, the reason why the games were faster paced was because right now, you're on Arden, for example. I know you said not to bring this up, but the head glitches are so strong, you can't push them. You cannot yeah. push that head glitch. But in Black Ops 3, you could go, you could peek, shoulder peek, see someone there and go, do I want a wall run up at him? Do yeah. I want a ledge boost over yeah. at him? Mm. I, I can feel confident enough to still take this fight. Yeah. And that's what, I mean, in... The thing in uh, in Modern Warfare Two, like, and it kind of it took me a while to adjust to it in other CODs, especially like Ghost and Black Ops Two. Modern Warfare Two, FMJ was just a thing. Yes, FMJ was just a thing. Like that's every single class. Go to any Modern Warfare Two vid of any competitive player. I can hear the sound of it. <laughs> other than the, other than the ACR and FAMAS, when you use the red dot, every other weapon has FMJ on it. Yeah, because you can shoot through everything. Everything. <laughs> every single. <laughs> car building through nine walls it like, it doesn't matter you can shoot through everything so head glitches were like they were useful but you could still outplay you could, you could run around a corner someone's at a head glitch and still and yeah. drop shot or go exactly. right and cut right through. Shoot, like imagine um, imagine uh saint marie if you could shoot through the bomb I mean, if FMJ got banned, FMJ's not Could you shoot through the bomb with, F with FMJ? Uh, I couldn't even it was remember. All, I, can, I can't even remember. But I, I, I can give you a ton of occasions where it would change how the game is obviously played. Yeah. You know, like, there's so many. Art and Forest, like, the reason why head glitches are so strong on Bunker, the other thing, is because FMJ is banned. Yeah. You cannot. Those walls are so thick. What? It's like nine bullets I, I just kill. don't understand. A lot of the well, reason why it was banned was because of, originally, was because of Gibraltar Search and Destroy. You would play Gibraltar S&D. Which was removed from competitive. Yeah, and I remember a lot of the complaints were because you'd run out and mid map Gibraltar, and even in hardpoint too would just be because that's all covers. If you think of oh, Gibraltar yeah. hardpoint, you would just spray through all those walls, and it was like the rounds were over in seven seconds because everyone would just FMJ the wall. They would throw yeah, their nades, yeah. FMJ the walls. It was like that's also did, an we, did we win? Like you end the game, you'd be like, 
Did we win that? <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if I'm alive. Like, am yeah. I watching someone? Like, that's what it was seriously like. Um, I kind of because there's there's aspects of it I kind of I kind of miss because head glitches are good for what they're meant for, which is you know obviously having that vantage point. But I feel like even if you could shoot through it, you could still pop through a head glitch, see them, they can't shoot you, and then they're like, okay, I can I can shoot through him, but you have time to get out, and yeah. then you have information like. Head glitches aren't just necessary for the actual gunfight. Like they're, it's just a way the game. It's a way COD has always been played. Like, yeah, it's just a game like knowledge and yeah. awareness and, and all power positions. Stuff. Yeah, like, that's yeah. how. That's the difference between like a Halo esport versus a COD esport. Like you have your certain power positions in Halo, yes, but you need to react to the weapon timers and weapon drops. It's what yeah. made the old Halo so teams. So Everyone awesome. in the game would know. Eight, at eight fifty six, rockets drop. Yeah. Like here we go. Like how, who's gonna position for it? And you know, you'd get a three piece before it. You'd make a risky play, and if it worked yeah. out, you were rewarded with not only map positioning but power weapon strength. Yeah. You could decide to, uh, 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 what was it called? Uh, burn someone's like you could burn Ovi because yeah. if you ran into it all week, you could burn it. Like there were strategic decisions there. Todd obviously doesn't have those power weapons, so power, power positions of the map are always key to get to. That's why it's always talked about in rotations and stuff. Really um, quick, because yeah. I just want to like throw this in there just because I have to get it off my chest. <clears throat> I think, so I don't know when this is uploaded. Yesterday was the like finals for uh, Worlds, Halo, yeah. for Halo mm -hmm. Worlds. I've been watching console esports, specifically console esports for a really long time. I think that's the most impressed I've ever been with a team in my life. Splice. Splice yeah. Really? There, I, I didn't get to never, catch it. I've never seen such so, accurate players and... To put it in perspective, un it was unreal. They've now played Halo... Five, which ironically enough, the the Halo Five esports just had its peak viewership strictly because of the Ninja host. Yeah, which oh, really funny. Um, but uh, uh, the what's we call it? The game's now been out for so long. Yeah. yeah, there's only so much you can learn, right? Yeah. This team, to put in perspective for you, which is unheard of. And any time I've, I've I've been out, I've been involved in esports forever, but it's I can't believe of. this. Thing. They they refuse to scrim other teams. Okay. So they only play two v twos versus each other. And right. then they'll join these custom Warzone open lobbies, these Warzone games, and just destroy everyone. <laughs> a video came out yesterday prior to the Grand final starting. One of the guys, I think it was Shotzi or whatever, was in a custom war, Warzone game. With, they were all in a custom Warzone game. While the other guys are warming up, he's shooting a Hornet at literally like bots because of how bad the players are. Really? That's how he warmed up for the Grand Finals of a, of a million dollar <laughs> tournament. Like... And so, that's so and then they were they, and then were they, they what were they doing differently then that they didn't want to show? It, it's just because they felt. I, I think they got to a point where they felt like they learned as much as they could about the game from okay. the streaming. It's yeah. been out so long. Yeah, that they had so the advantage. They were the number one team, right? They took over the, as the number one team, and then instead of letting other teams scrim them and catch up, because obviously typically people scrim and they go, "Oh, I want to take that from that like that." Yeah, yeah. they've now said, "Forget it. <laughs> we're just going to two v two each other," and they do it in these same duos. Apparently, from what I was being told, they do it in these same duos. So the map will start, and Renegade and whoever, the other young guy, will push out left as the duo, who have perfect teamwork, right? Mm. And the other two will push out the other side, perfect teamwork. And if they get weak, right, let's say it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it becomes a, uh, a, a 3v2 over there, they'll get weak. They do such a good job of using their crazy movement and their teamwork to just stay alive so the other duo immediately says, that's our priority. And it goes from a 3v2 to a 4v3 in like yeah. five seconds time across the whole map. Dude, I was actually like obviously I wanted the talks guys to win, yeah. but I was as I was watching, I was just, I felt like just watching, I felt like attacked because <laughs> every single time like they would get someone weak, he would get away, and all of a sudden he's getting rained down <laughs> by on Nate, like, by Nate's, by like yeah. everything. It's yeah. it's so crazy, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. I they brought out again one of the talks guys to win too, but they brought out an easy button yeah. after the finals was over. Against the back-to-back two-peat Halo World Championship yeah. team, and did it that was easy after four owing them in the grand finals. Yeah. That is, that is absurd. Yeah, yeah. that's insane. I mean, that's talk crazy. about confidence. So I mean, one of them's like sixteen years old. Yeah, really. Just one. Uh, what two hundred k? At sixteen, I was stressing because I had to remake my MW two <laughs> payoffs team because we didn't like that we had twenty three losses with our hundred and forty two wins. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I was just. Back. We never made it back to the top 128. <laughs> so we disbanded and remade, and then we barely did, didn't even make it. We, just, we literally were like, we want a better record for playoffs, like to be higher. Nope, didn't even make it back. Yeah. And that was the end of my COD Pro career. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but yeah, so we've covered a lot of stuff. Uh, before we go anywhere, I do want to, with Black Ops 4, we had Call of Duty World War II come out. The, the community reception was so positive going back to Boots, right? Mm. Like so, so positive in regards to, in regards to, here we go. This is what we've been asking. When the game is about to go out. Yeah. Not not when it went out. Yeah, yeah. No, before, like okay, when, okay. when the first, when, I'm still talking about the reveal. Yeah, yeah. So when okay, the reveal okay. came out, it was oh, like, yeah, yeah. we're back. Everything. Hell yeah. That obviously didn't come to fruition for everyone, right? Absolutely not. What is the, what is the COD community thinking right now? We, we, uh, it, I mean, is, luckily, sorry to cut you off. Luckily, it's, it's a Black Ops game. And hmm. Vonderhaar is... So that outweighs everything. It yeah. outweighs everything. So think, any, literally any single person that comes to my chat is like, so if Black Ops 4 is a bad game, is COD dead? Or like, people ask me that every day. And I'm just like, is Black Ops 4 is not going to be a bad game. No. I might not play it, but I know that I'm going to have an amazing time watching it. Yeah. And I know that it's going to blow up. Like, it's, it's a Black Ops game. Yeah. Like you, they do it right. Yeah, they do it right every year. They and, still have all the score people there, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and They're especially the... with like, I think all all that Vonderhaar can do is, and and all those guys, they just take what what they've been doing with all the Black Ops series and, and the competitive aspects and building the game basically from competitive, from like a competitive mindset, and then also they take what everything that Fortnite's doing right because that's all anybody's talking about, mm. and then they just put them together. <laughs> Yeah. What? It's over. It's gonna be amazing. It's yeah. not over. And Vaughn, it's not going anywhere. And Vaughn went no. back. <laughs> Vaughn went. Vaughn went back into like his like. Vaughn unfollowed everyone on Twitter. Yeah. I got a, I got the hot unfollow from Vaughn. He like started tweeting out all this motivational stuff. Like a motivated Vaughn is what made him like a billion dollar like entity yeah. for Activision. Like, right. it's crazy how these guys are. Like if you if you've ever gone to an event, you see there are people following around Vaughn and and the the studio head type people. Yeah, they. You see those two huge jack dudes in suits behind them. That's exactly what you think it is. It's a, it's a security team because yeah. that's how much value Vaughn has, they, yeah. they bring, right? And it's it, it's crazy. I mean, how it, has I think the, is has Vaughn is Vaughn the only one that survived the cod? Yeah, the cod. Community? I mean, all the jo- all the jokes, especially in the sniping scene, like when he uh, n- when he nerfed the DSR on Black Ops Two, everyone was like. Yeah. Damn it, Vonnie, like we hate you, Vonnie, but at the same time, we're like, we absolutely do love you. Like you yeah. just do such a good job every year. And I think he's, yeah. yeah, I don't I don't know who's It's crazy because I have four faces in my in my brain right now of other people that had Vaughn's position, but in, in uh Infinity Ward and, and Sledgehammer. I can't remember their names. Dude, what's one was a lady. What was her name? Tina. Tina. Yeah. She, she we she's I, still I say involved, we, but I think she's just not in that position. Yeah, yeah. I say we, but it's obviously the the COD fans, which can be very the drones. extra. <laughs> the drones out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, they literally annihilate everyone yeah. except for Vaughn. Vaughn is like the big T of, yeah. of East you can't, of you can't COD. Hate him. You can't do, you can't do no too. wrong. It doesn't affect Vaughn. Like, even if he does get all that stuff, like knowing Vaughn personally, yeah. that man is no BS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will never forget being in there for a CODcaster meeting. And it's me, Matt, Maven, and Revan. And we're sitting there. And we know we've got Vaughn's time for a little bit. We have this big meeting with people in New York, with yeah. Colorado. We're all getting on it, and we're there with Vaughn, who's leading the meeting. Because it's a big initiative for them to get the esports stuff. I and mean, you can tell they had the camos in game, the, the updates that they did, oh, all yeah. the color updates. The co- they did a great job. Yeah. And that transferred right over to IW. Like, if there's one thing that transfers well between the CODs, it's the updates to the COD caster of staying true. Um, but we're sitting there. And we're getting like a first look at Black Ops 3 Codcaster. And he gives, and this is when keyboard functionality was coming out. And he gives Revan the keyboard. And John is an interesting character because we met Revan. And Revan just starts smashing these keys. Like Vaughn's like, yeah, just mess with it, break it. Like break, break Codcaster. So Revan just starts doing this, spamming the keys, trying to like malfunction it. I don't know what his thought process was. <laughs> And we're like hopping on this call and Vaughn just turns and goes, shut up, Revan, or something like that. <laughs> and like he just told Revan to do this. Like 30 seconds passed and I was like this. Ha ha ha. I was like, <laughs> I did like one of those like, that was funny, right guys? And I was like, he wasn't actually kidding, okay? Hey, like, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Like, so it got, it got real quick. Yeah. And I'll never forget that because then like sitting at Black Ops 3 Champs and watching this in this, in this stadium, you know? Yeah. And, uh, hearing the U.S. versus EU chants and hearing Vaughn, like, tell me personally, 
things that like he does and doesn't like did it like he did and didn't like and obviously i wouldn't share them but like things that he's like oh, i gotta i want to adjust this or uh, looking at this from here like i like this or i want to do this more and like hearing that and just his mind go yeah that, that man's been involved for so long it's awesome dude. that like to see him this motivated for yeah. black ops 4 where, where he's tweeting out all this stuff going dark on socials like talking about how he's got this new team for this new side thing like with this, it's got to be VR. Bro. You know it's Vaughn, bro. It's Vaughn. You can't, you can't be worried. It's got to be a VR. <laughs> is Vaughn the COD god? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, probably at this point. Yeah, I mean, you, we, you got our go, faith, like. But at this point, if you had a Mount Rushmore of Call of Duty esports, Call of Duty esports, who would it, who 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 are all of them? I mean, how many faces is it on Mount Rushmore? Four. Five, four. four. <laughs> <laughs> Never been. <laughs> I, don't think he I knows. mean, I would have said four. Do you know what Mount Rushmore yeah. is? Oh, okay. But I think but I would have said four. <laughs> no, I think I just saw it in The Simpsons. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, hey, hey, you know, apparently Davis needs to watch The Simpsons. Later yeah. Now, but um, who would it, who would it be? Uh, Nate Shop. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um, the man I'm replacing today has to be high up there, Hector. Yeah. Uh, now, if we're talking just COD community or, like, even up to, like, the, the studio people, like Vaughn, for example. I would say you could put Vaughn in there. I think Vaughn's in there. So one more. Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know. Yeah. The, 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 the thing is, you can make so many arguments for a few. Yeah. You can make so many arguments. Right. I mean, who would be the Mount Rushmore for COD snipers? Predator. Like, Homage. Grizz. Grizz. And then Reeps, even though it was about 17 people. Reeps. But... Reeps is a good one, yeah. Yeah, probably that. Uh, see, you know, if COD snipers watch, I'd love to hear their thoughts on... Yeah. Were any, were any of those people phase people? Uh, <laughs> no. Well, Pomage joined, Damn, yeah. but he, he'd gone. Yeah, well, yeah. Grizz joined for a little bit, okay. but it was after his, his prime. Did, I mean, do you, did you ever watch Reeps montages? No, I, so that's one thing that I never really did. I never really that's got crazy. to... That's, I mean, that's how I that's got That's why I said it earlier. Yeah. I was MW2. I never, just, I never touched. The best things you'd ever see was MW2 sniping by, by Reeves. Even though it was like multiple people, it was still like, nobody yeah. was topping that. Maybe it was so do, good. I need to do my homework. On, yeah. dude, it's, the Reeves montages were insane. Oh. And, and the crazy thing is that it's probably like the first time. I mean, it's like, because she, I, I still want to say she. Yeah, no, I Because I, I said yeah, she yeah. for so long. Yeah. Because did you, have, have you ever heard of Reeves? No. Okay, I've so. I've never heard of Reeps is like this um, montage maker that just kind of like took it to the next yeah. level. Yeah, no, like, no one was on, on. Yeah, no one was on that her level. <laughs> <laughs> that and it his... was like, I, it, it did it did Reeps start the feed, the feed aspect of? I think yeah, I, I think, think so. It was I'm just gonna, more I'm like gonna, I'm, gonna st- I'm gonna say it. I think she started it, and yeah. then um, so obviously it's like this. You go on her like uh, YouTube page, and I still remember the old backgrounds. You would like scroll, and you could like change your entire background like MySpace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was like her model picture, her like she was modeling pictures, like a scene girl. Yeah. And I'm just like, there's no way this she's real. this good. Yeah. But it made me watch all of her videos, and then out of nowhere, one day uh, in Modern Warfare Three, the actual model took like a video and put it on the internet and said, "Yo, that's not." Me. Yeah. <laughs> and then the the dual touch that. Reaps made with this dude named Darkness, who was yeah. like a boyfriend girlfriend montage. Oh my god! So then he was getting like message Xbox Live messages, and so he just replied to one of them. And he said, "I don't know. She, uh, I got offered fifty bucks." Really? I, I don't. I, I don't remember it. that. It was like fifty bucks, like a hundred bucks, to do a dual taj and say I was her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's like that montage is one of the best oh, montages in history. That's so good. It, it literally. It, that's what people think about when they think about over two. They think about predators. They think about, about that dual taj, and then maybe I don't know, like others, like some it's rant, so maybe funny. like like some Pomage stuff in mm. the in the montage battle of like Halo versus COD. Halo is obviously just Halo, yeah, because it, like, it has all their great montages. But like the only COD that I think of are the sniper ones that like put up the fight of like montage, like who's got the cooler yeah. montage. And I, th- I, I think Halo. Halo, no, Halo wins. Still has, the, like, yeah, if sure. you've ever seen Straight Ripping Montage, the 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 Walshy Halo 2 Montage, yeah. the the Halo God Montage, like, those were nuts. But hearing that, hearing that is crazy, because I've never, I've never really 
Yeah. Ever got into it. Like, ever mm-hmm. got into it. That was the one thing I just never did. Yeah. Um, but damn, it's cool to look back on everything, look forward. Where are we at with the uh, with time? As, as Hector would say. Uh, 48. Oh, we got a, we got a few more minutes. Yeah. Few more minutes. A few more minutes. Yeah. Um, we got other stuff we're recording too, but um, <laughs> but now we've kind of covered the past and future. For right now, moving forward, and you just you, you're staying on your COD War Two grind. You're staying true to it. You're hoping. Could the best thing that happens to you right now would be the release of a new sniper? Yeah, I think so. I mean, right now there's a lot of con- they've just released the maps. Um, they've added in a bunch of stuff, like all the update, the unlimited sprint, the you know tactical and lethal grenade, the the way you can hold your breath with any sniper yeah. on any division. The DLC, just everything that's come together now is just added like Gosh, fresh... good momentum right yeah, now. Yeah. It, it, yeah, they've done a good job and they've got like awesome. new camos, uh, the paint jobs here, like everything that should have been in the game before. Like, finally, it's out of beta? Yeah, it's, it's finally out of beta, beta like yeah. five months, hit, six months in, whatever we are now. So there's a lot to ride on now and definitely a lot to like grind for. Um, but a new sniper would just be perfect. I mean, they did like accidentally add like the challenges for like five new weapons, yeah. which I'm sure a lot of people saw. Almost. Um, is, so are, are you could you be like so right now we have nameless in, in cod esports mm. <laughs> leading almost this revive cod movement okay right i've, I've been seeing that I didn't and know, it's like... been seeing there's been some great momentum they started a cod podcast players are looking into potentially changing their schedule to making it so that they could stream later at nights just put more stuff out there yeah okay could sprat be the face of the revive sniper revive cod i mean sniping? i'll try my best i'm trying to keep it you know going a lot of people I need so. someone to look look for, I think, especially in that area. What's or, the things that, that they can do? Like, if you were to begin to move that, like, say, Name will start doing the podcast with COD pros and podcasts. They think about switching their schedule. What do you think would be th- good things to help revive COD sniping outside of a new weapon? Collaborations? Would it yeah, be? I think I think collaborations, I think, like, having more of a purpose. Because uh, I think the age of montage is, is just, it's been, it's been and gone. I still think it's good to work on a big project like that. And I think if you hype it up throughout the year... Pomage is always great at that, and yeah, the last yeah. montage he did, um, it was something he promoted throughout the year. And he worked on content like live gameplays and stuff. When something happened in there, you know, it was it was hidden. It was it was a secret. Yeah. So I think if you have that, if you still love the montages, you have that goal. You just got to think of other ways to promote it as a, as a side thing, and then when it comes out, it's it's your main thing. But I think now it's more <laughs> breaching. You're going out of your comfort zone because a lot of snipers just sit there and they just want to do the montage and that's it. You've got to break out of that and see what's doing well. I think the the grind, the the levels, you know, the challenges, all of that stuff that you can do in the game is something that we lack of in the sniping scene. I always try and do that. I've been doing that for 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 many years now. Just having like a goal, like when you get on, rather yeah. than just playing to play. You want a goal. You want like yeah. something that you're passionate about. Yep. And um, I think that's what we need really. And I still want to do like more challenges and get more people involved and i think as, as hyped as i am to wait until black ops 4 for those IV- ideas i think i might start bringing them out now so maybe i'll do what i can you know especially with twitch you know you rarely see any snipers mm-hmm. streaming on twitch too so i want to want to do my part there and, and just trying to breach you know reach as many people yeah. as i can because yeah. they need some love i think sniper. <laughs> yeah i think one uh one interesting thing that not probably not a lot of people like know about because i feel like half of the people wa- that watch now they didn't start watching until jetpack cod mm. um so i don't think a lot of people know how big the sniping community used to be oh yeah so i i, I think like some sort of like throwback series where you like i don't know like interview say you interviewed predator did like a dual com with predator just talked about everything like back in the day i mean i feel like that would be a lot of people would be interested in in, in it because it's all out there like same same with people that watch the the, the uh, tournaments now like all of the black ops 2 tournaments they're all online yeah but nobody wants to go back and watch all no. of them if they haven't like if they if they didn't watch it at that moment so like nobody's going to go back and watch these game montages that like they didn't play but if they you know heard about it from from you or from like homage i feel like people would be interested in that yeah i think a cool definitely. thing too is like with what we're seeing with the podcast for nameless right now is like it's like the the core part of the community that right now for the first two episodes, again, as long as they stay consistent, everyone's like tuning in for it. And it's like yeah. the thing that everyone goes and watches for the community. It's almost like a, it's almost like a town hall meeting yeah, where you crazy. have these people talk, but the chat is all there and everyone's giving the thoughts. They do a Q and a, like imagine that, but for sniping, yeah. you get like, yeah. even if it's weekly, bi-weekly, but you get everyone together and it's like 
a discussion. You watch the best clips people have hit in the last few weeks. You talk about, like, like I would love if there's, like, a, a, a sniping, like, guide slash rule set. Like, I don't know. There's obviously bolt-action snipers versus these type of snipers. Like, yeah. for me, on the outside, yeah. like, does one way different in clips because, like, this one's semi-audio, you go boom, 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 mm. boom, versus a bolt-action where it's like, oh, you got to go for collapse or whatever, like, to yeah. make it cool. Like, I would love those in-depth discussions that get people fired up on, like, this and – I don't know if you make a imagine like a league or something where you like you oh, like yeah. you like do like a rating right where it's like you have these teams that you submit so you have eight sniping teams clans and they submit clips and you have a verified judge yeah judge you know committee that votes on them no bias mm. and it's like you guys make up your own like sniper pro league where you can go out play yeah. and then you, you, I don't know you, you, you optic one. Stage one of the Sniper Pro League with, yeah. you know, you you and Pam doing this. Like mm. I, I personally think that would be a oh, yeah. cool kind of way to spin it. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's got to be something because sniping, it was so big because it, it was so new. Like mm. the, people, you would, people running around using snipers as shotguns, like, on, like people, I, I, the actually, the way I discovered it, I forgot about this until right now. The way I discovered Optic, all of Optic, and yeah. the way I discovered uh, Predator is I got on one day to play Mono for Two, and my cousin, who was like 19 at the time, messaged all of his friends and said, do you want to see some crazy shit? Go watch, go type in Optic Predator into YouTube. And I did, and I was watching him like, what is this? Because <laughs> he would just go up and intervention and just literally like... Beam them. And I, how everyone sniped back then is they would lay in the back of run down and watch one lane <laughs> and if someone came in they would be like oh man i missed yeah. you know like that's how we snipe and there'd be no retaliation like, <laughs> no, there'd be no one fire back at him. he would sit there forever <laughs> yeah. and they yeah. tack and insert like five yeah, feet yeah. behind him yeah and so i, I would watch I, I was watching all of these and that's when he made four episodes a week mm. he had 92 episodes and every time one came out i was like oh my god yeah. oh my god he's doing the craziest stuff but now it's kind of like you can only I can only watch you drop ninety kills in a team death match. How many times have I seen that? You yeah, know? and it, it's kind of like there's got to be something else for yeah. for this. I think I think for uh, in my opinion, it's it's based on how like difficult the sniping is. That that's where it's it's gone from because oh, before dear. obviously it was new, so it was exciting. People wanted to watch it, and then it kind of died down a bit. And then I think Black Ops Three changed everything because that was the card where it was like. Hard. If you could snipe, you were good because they took up a target assist, which is everybody's complaint. People were flying so, around. Yeah, if dude, you that's when, that's when Sprat shoots. dude, that was that was my game. It was ridiculous. <laughs> dude, like Sprat's like, bro, get me back on that for Black Ops Four. You better believe. Dude, I'm saying it was like when the beta came out, and I did one video, and I just called it. I love this game, and it was just me running around, flying, wall running, that's, jumping, that was and hit. I loved how fluid. It felt. Yeah, and yeah. it was just like, but at the same time. People are like, how the hell is that happening? Because you don't have aim assist, and it was in every game for sniping. They yep. took it off, of took it off the, just the snipers and left it on everything else. So people were complaining. I was like, I'm gonna embrace it. You know, it's it's a lot of fun. It's good to practice, and that's when I think centering with a sniper became the yeah, key so thing. Huge, yeah. But that's yeah. how like you got your name mm. was Black Ops One. Yeah, and that was the first game where they. Vonderhaar took the snipers and was like, fuck all <laughs> yeah. And everyone was like, shit, except for Sprat. Yeah. Like, that's that, I remember the first that. time I ever saw your montage. I was like, how? How is he doing it on this was piece Black of Ops shit game? After or before MW2? Right after. Yeah. The yeah. next game. So that's why. That's why. Because so MW2 happened and they were like, <laughs> but, I, I, so like but they you, literally you let that happen. they literally made it so you couldn't quick scope so you had to scope in and then wait it because it was swayed and yeah. then you would have to wait for it and i was like as weird as this is i kind of liked it yeah. and then i just i stuck with it and people were like what the hell are you doing like i forgot who tweeted you out but they were like they're like this is the only person who can snipe on this game and so that's how i found out sprat and then what example one yeah example one that came out and i was like because that's when I made prestige montages, which was a new oh, thing. Yeah, wow, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, that was too. such a cool idea. It's crazy how much I don't know about that. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, I this is how I got into, into COD. Yeah. yeah. Like all of COD, before, even before esports. And then um, and then I like, started watching. Because it's crazy how long ago that was. Man. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I that will was... never forget a clip that you hit. I think it was on Villa. Is that No, 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 not Villa. 
I forgot the name of the maps. I I never played Black Ops One. It's probably my least favorite game. Anyway, it's probably your most favorite, right? It's a. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> you just so personally you, hurt him. <laughs> he gets so. So this is when nobody knew how to snipe on the game. Like people didn't snipe. Or this might have been his second one, which is later. But he he gets a headshot with a snipe. He gets another headshot, and that's back back in the day. Three three headshots in a row. That was a clip. Yeah. Like you could you could put that in a montage, and people were like, damn. And if, if you got four in a row, that's unheard of. Yeah. But now it's like I see those, and I'm just like, yeah. yeah, everyone. I don't even get them anymore. Now you do like a four man headshot on screen. Yeah. Oh, only Dude, that. You it's have to like no scope yeah. quad feed somebody yeah. for me to be like, oh wow, <laughs> you know, because I've seen I've seen it so many times. But the first time, he, and so I was expecting him to get another whatever. Yeah. He pulls out a ballistic knife, turns around, sees another dude, and it headshots him for the thri- triple headshot. I literally paused the video and I called Blake. I was like, get, get, you have to watch this right now. And it's crazy that that's how I reacted from mm. that clip. And all these years later, like you could do that right now. And I'd be like, that was yeah, like I wonder how it, Ninja's streaming. <laughs> <laughs> like I try, I tried out Black Ops Two, and I did it a bunch of times. I was like, it just doesn't. It's yeah. not the same. Like it's yeah. been a few years. Like it's just whatever's like popping at the time, and it's always nice to find something new. And, that, and nobody had done that yet. And I was like, this is kind of. It was unreal. Yeah, kind of cool. When you pull, because like the the edit is like pow, pow, and I'm sitting there like cool. And then he goes, <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 don't do it. <laughs> oh, I think it's a lot of people's favorite too, and it's just like. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's like the nostalgia that we've talked about, like going back, that's, I just remember yeah. absolutely grinding, uh, stuff like that. And even if they remastered Black Ops 1 now, I just, it wouldn't be, yeah. wouldn't can, be the I same. Can, I can understand Yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand that. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. It's, uh, there's been a lot of good stuff in the past, but a lot of good stuff to come uh, on yes. the horizon. If there's one thing I think us three know really well, it's the grind. Oh yeah. And I think that's kind of a restart of this. I know right yeah. after this, I'm going to stream. Well, actually you just, you just. I'm going to go upload. You, upload and then probably sleep for a bit. Maybe sleep. Yeah. Uh, and then you're back at it, bro. Yeah. You're back at it. You're here for the next foreseeable future. So yeah. that's all we can do. Uh, obviously, appreciate you boys being yeah. here and always. Have, oh, I love doing the podcast. Yeah. yeah. So much fun getting fun. in depth. Um, and I hope for you guys out there watching, you you enjoyed, you know, hearing Sprat's perspective on things. Yeah. Your first podcast. This podcast. You crushed yeah. it, bro. You yeah. seriously yeah. did a really good job. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, So we'll see you guys next time on the Optic Podcast. It'll be episode 50. You won't want to miss it. Big 5-0. My 5-0.